Hello everyone, welcome to a Fallout 4 mods review. So today we'll briefly talk about some of the mods that I recently downloaded and I'll show you how to use them if necessary. And I'll let you know whether or not I'm going to keep these. So the first mod up is Dog Meat Skag Replacer. This is going to replace Dog Meat with the Skag from the Borderlands series. He appears to be able to wear all dog clothing without any problems. I would love to have this as a standalone mod. This is my favorite dog meat mod and it doesn't use a plugin. The texture quality is also great. This is definitely a keeper for me. Next is Cabot Square Apartments. This is a workshop player home. It is located to the left of the Cabot house. When entering the building, you'll need to find a key to unlock the player home. The building is very dark and it has a few ghouls inside. So you just need to get to the top floor and drop down the elevator shaft and search in the duffel bag for the apartment key. So the apartment itself has a fuse box, but uh, not too much room for decorating. It also has uh, some things that are messed up in there, like there's holes in the floor, unscrappable rubble, and there's a dead Brahmin corpse as well. You can fix some of these problems with rug glitching. So uh, I didn't realize at first, but you cannot have settlers here. It is just a player home with some workshop features. I was really hoping to turn this into an uh, a hideout for the railroad or the synth. So um, the mod is okay, but I'm not going to keep it and I may come back to it someday. Next is sneak rank. 5 perk subtle sneak stealth boy effect so when you get level uh, 5 and sneak you have this stealth boy effect that happens when you crouch down it'll last for about a second or two I really freaking hate this feature I would always stop at sneak rank 4 just because I didn't want to get sneak rank 5 and have that freaking effect so uh, <laughs> with this mod you can actually have sneak rank 5 and when you crouch down that stealth boy effect will not happen. This is only a visual change so you will not lose any bonuses to your stealth abilities. So uh, this is just one of those mods that I feel like everybody should have and it's one of those hidden gems. Next is a power armor mod called visual tesla upgrade. This is going to allow the four main power armors to have Tesla coils on the torso and arms that you can actually see. So you just apply the Tesla coils on the arms like you would normally and for the torso there is a new item called the Tesla pack that you can add to the torso. So I'm going to use the T-51 here for an example but this can be applied to any of the four main power armors like T-45 and T60 and X01. So this is a great mod for people who like power armors outside of the T60. I definitely say this is a good one. You should get it and this is a keeper for me. Next is Valentine Reborn. This is a HD texture replacer for Nick Valentine making him darker and making those cracks in his face more noticeable. So uh, his eyes are also changed. There's some different uh, options for the eyes but I just stuck with the blue. His fedora and trench coat are also retextured, and uh, this thing just overall it looks really good. Uh, this is going to be a keeper for me. I think that his body is just a bit too dark, but this could probably be fixed with something like GIMP or Photoshop. Next is the MP47 T51 Medic Power Armor. This paint is unlocked from the very start of the game. It gives bonuses to intelligence with all parts painted. It comes with rad scrubbers and a medic pump built in, so you can use those upgrades alongside others that you choose to add onto it. It will use stim packs when your health falls below 20%. There's also a cleaner, less worn version, and I will show that here as well. So that's it. I will be keeping all of these mods with the exception of the Cabot House Square Apartments. Consider giving me a like and subscribing to the channel. I will see you all later.